So we're just going to go ahead and lay it out flat. You guys can do it on the floor or a table or uh, on your bed, whatever works for you. Find a flat surface, fold it or lay it out flat. Uh, we have the pole hem away from you, so the farthest point away from you. And I take the tail and we just put it towards that bottom right corner. And this still leaves the flag a little bit uneven. It's not squared yet. So what we do on the next fold is we take this top corner and we fold that a little bit farther in than this bottom corner. So now you see this is at an angle, but now this is at a straight parallel to um, the pole hem here. So from there, we can just go ahead and fold it in half again. And then you guys can either fold it in half a couple times, or what we do here is we fold it over and then tuck the end in and then fold it over one more time so there's no loose edges hanging around. It kind of um, tucks it all in nice and tight. And if you fold everything the same way, then it just makes it really easy to count and to stack them up. So from there, we're just going to bag them. Um, and we always use a plastic bag. Um, we just have these open ones, but a lot of people just use the really big Ziploc bags. Um, you're gonna go ahead and put those in there. Um, and I always just try to get out as much air as possible. So I'm gonna fold this over. If you have a Ziploc bag, obviously you can just push out the air and zip it closed. If you have a bag more like this, um, these hold a little bit more, you can push out all the air. And then we do just go ahead and tape them closed. Now, from that point, I always, 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 because I know I'm gonna forget, and I'm sure you would too, I'm always gonna write the quantity. So I have the quantity, and then I write the size, 36 by 52 or 54, or whatever the size the flag is. And then I'll write something that describes it, like um, printed, purple, sparkle, or something like that. Um, so then I know what it, what it looks like. And I often always will do a picture of it as well, um, just so I can either put it up on Facebook to sell, like a lot of you guys are trying to resell your flags, or if I just keep it in an album so then I know how many I have for future reference. So come future seasons, I can look through and say, oh, I have this flag that I can reuse. Or if I have a friend that's looking for something, I, have, I know exactly what we have. And then all these, I usually just throw in like a Tupperware bin or some kind of shelving in whatever storage you get the unit you guys have for the guard. So that way they're not gonna get water damage, no bugs, they won't smell because you washed them and they're nice and ready to go for the next time you wanna use them. So hope that helps guys, bye.